of what's right with our schools. Sandra Roberts, an eighth grade teacher at Whitwell Middle School, is teaching her students about the deadly power of prejudice. In her eyes, the Holocaust is the most significant example of this. When we told our students that six million Jews were killed, it's, it's so amazing that this project, which started off as a lesson for 16 children, is now celebrating its 20th year. She decided that her students had to visually see the six million lives that were taken. So Roberts and her class began collecting paper clips. I remember all through my middle school career, we were counting paper clips in class, we were reading letters, we were getting to... So the real question that we have for everybody is why is the African alleged transatlantic slave trade not being talked about, CRT being blocked, the atrocious, heinous crimes against humanity that, you know, the pigmently challenged, AKA colonizers have committed being blocked when the estimates, because they don't have an actual number because records of slaves, well, the enslaved, we should say, had, were, weren't were as stringent as those for horses, cows, pigs. Like, you can trace back cow bloodlines for centuries, but ours, no. The reclassification, the rebranding, or what have you, the African-American, black, Negro, colored, all that, when we were the indigenous, a great deal of us were already here. However, comma, the estimates are anywhere from six to 150 million. Some people only say two million. And that's just in the passage. That's not including the lynchings that took place here. And then in the Jim Crow era, when the Klan came out with the original Birth of a Nation movie that was actually given a thumbs up by a president of the whole United States, which was, again, a Klansman's like recruitment poster type deal because of the super predator Negroes being free. We're going to be a threat to them because they think that our people are wrathful when we're not. It's not in the nature of the original peoples. So again, why is critical race theory being blocked? Well, that's because they know that if they get rid of the ignorance, that would have them be held accountable for their current manifestations of what they've always been doing for centuries. Centuries, not so long ago, but these Karens, the cops, the whole nine, it's the same thing. R-E-X